Okay. So we're starting. So when we start, what we're going to do is first we're going to learn how to have good posture. So when you're playing trombone, you can't slouch and you can't sit like this and play or you can't sit like this and play. You have to like sit like you're standing. So don't have your back too straight, but have your back so that your spine is straight and you're in a good position where you can just stand. And then what I want you to do is sit down, but don't move your back. So sit down up there, one, two. And now that is the posture you're always going to have in play. Okay? Yep. Good posture. Yeah. It's, it is because it doesn't hurt. It's your natural resting posture, and it keeps your chest elevated, and it keeps so that you can play really well. This is the lesson. This is what we That's cool. cool. Okay, and then, so now that you know how to sit, now you have to sit, you know how to, and when you're standing, it's the same thing, you just gotta hold the trouble in the right way. Let me get it, and I'll teach you how to put together. So let me show you all the parts of this lovely instrument. So this is, can you hold this? Can you have the This is the slide. This is how you make the sound. I may have to release the conversation from it. Warn you, there will be condensation. It is not spit, it is condensation. Just, yeah. So that's, you know, that. This mouthpiece is how you make all the noise. This is just tubes. This is how all the sound comes from. And this is the bell. The large part. And then we're going to learn how to put it together. Okay. So what you do first is you take the slide and you make it so it's at a 90 degree angle with the bell. Okay, see? And then you do this. Oh. Oh, that's so hard to do. And then, boop a doop. And then you got a trombone. Yeah, so you're going to do it. Okay. Hold the bell. Hold the bell. Do it. With this 90 degree angle. Yeah, and if your hands are small, you can make it. Oh. Oh, no. Make sure. Rest this. See this little nub? Yeah. And this is meant to go on the ground. Oh, good. Okay. You can just. Yep. And then. One of these, one of these. Make sure it's tight. Is it? You're good. You're good. And now we're going to stop double take three times. <laughs> yes. Okay. And then its mouth goes here. Yes, but you're not holding it now because you got to hold it. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, no, we're progressing because this is going to be. So what you do is you take your finger gun or your L and then you go around here and on the mouthpiece. Oh. And then you wrap the rest of your fingers here. So that your hand is always on it. And also, another tip, slide, slide lock is always on. You never want to have eighth position. That's when the slide falls off. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's down to that. Okay. So, take your finger again, and you go right there, and then you wrap your fingers in this little box. Okay. Try it. And if your hand is too small, you can bend it up a little bit. It is quite small. Yeah, I have bigger hands than you. <laughs> yeah. I am very small. I am. Yeah. That, that might... I'm going to move it over when we play it right now, so I Which it should be with an eighth position, though. And then when you hold it, you should only have like a couple fingers on here. Like three? Like here. So this, like this is good. So then you can stop it because that's how you know what fourth position is. Oh. So keep a couple because that keeps your movement good. Because if you have your whole hand, it's harder to like move slide positions quickly. Okay. Oh, that makes sense because the, it's not as maneuverable. So then, and then you keep your hand out a little bit more. And so you don't have to hold it. So let's say go. Isn't that easier? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's see. What else is on the list? <laughs> <laughs> this instrument. This instrument. Okay. Instrument assembly. Proper over here. Okay. What we're going to do. So when, on trombone, when you play, it's it's a ta, so it's like <coughs> so. <coughs> oh my gosh, I'm a horrible teacher. Okay, so counterproductive. <coughs> so it would be. <coughs> and the way you do that, this is gonna ask like how. But okay. Okay, can be a lot. So you, it's a ta. So if you think singing, so you have to think sort of singing with it is great for vocalists because our breathing is the same. So when you breathe for a trombone, you have to have a constant stream of breath. 
it's like saying you don't want to stop to stop and start. So you want to have a legato breath, a really long, warm breath when you're playing. And how you keep the sound going is with articulation. And that's with a ta. So it's like ta. And the kind of it's ta. Because it's easier that way. Okay. So just sing ta. Ta. And we're gonna, I'm going to show you an aperture in a second so that you know what you're doing. Kind of, and then you're going to attempt to play concert X. Yeah, I am. Because that's the first note I learned, and it's going to be the first note you'll learn. And so, so when I learn it's ta. Now watch my hands because I don't have a second trumpet. I would give you the second trumpet. But trumpet. there's a limited number 
of trombones in this world. Yeah. So the first position you always learn is first position. Can't imagine why. So that's the B flat, and I'm, I'm not going to teach you partials. That's too complicated. That's fine. That's like how you can play F B flat. No, no, no. I hear it's like the tri. It's like yeah, the yeah, harmonic yeah. series. So it's. <laughs> Yeah, we're good. Shannon, so proud. High five.